right, for the second build of the series, I'm going to be going over my Devour build. Now, Devour is a Nova Bomb subclass where kills with this melee ability, melee ability fully regenerate your health. Uh, that procs Devour, but there's also you can also consume your grenade to activate Devour. And then once Devour is activated, while the Devour effect is active, killing enemies extends its duration and recharges your grenade. Basically, anytime in, within those 10 seconds, if you kill anything, literally any single ad, boss, whatever it is, you will fully heal your health again and refresh the timer back up to 10 seconds. Um, additionally, I don't know where it says it here, but while Devour is active, getting kills recharges your grenade faster. I'm going to be pairing Devour with Nezarak Sin. Nezarak Sin is an exotic where void damage kills increase ability energy recharge rate. Those abilities include grenade, melee, rift, and super. So, if I get any kills with my grenade, my melee, or whatever, they're going to start charging my abilities back again really quickly. But, this also means if I use a void weapon, like this sidearm right here, I get my abilities back quicker. To summarize what we've got so far, we've got Devour, which heals me every time I get a kill, and Nezarak Sin, where my abilities recharge every time I get a kill. On top of that, we're going to pair that with the Seventh Seraph SI2. This is a sidearm, unfortunately, it's not obtainable anymore. So if you don't have um, this sidearm right now, don't worry about this. Uh, don't worry about this build, really. There are other builds you can make with Devour, but this specific one isn't really going to be, uh, isn't really going to work too well. So this sidearm, I actually have one with Demolitionist. So that Demolitionist perk is going to stack with the Nezarek Sin ability. So I'm going to be getting my grenade back even quicker and the Devour Intrinsic. So I'm going to be getting my grenade back every three or four kills because I'm running 100 Discipline. So if I get pop my grenade, you know, consume my grenade, get three kills, now my grenade is recharged. So even if I don't get any more kills in that time, next time I need to go kill some adds, I just can consume my grenade right again. Finally, on my class item, I'm using Berserker. When your super ends, you gain a temporary bonus to weapon damage. The duration and strength of this bonus increases based on the number of combatants you defeated with your super. So when I throw my Nova Bomb out, say I killed five enemies with that Nova Bomb, I'm going to get a stack of, it's going to literally say on the si left side of my screen, damage boost. That's a 35% damage boost, which is equivalent to weapons of light based on the number of kills I had got. So if I get five kills, I think that's like 10 seconds of damage boost. So just an easy mod to use. Um, like I said, not meant to be any sort of gimmicky build. So you just throw my Nova Bomb out and all of a sudden I get a damage bonus. I am also running 100 recovery. I'm actually running 100 recovery on every single Warlock build I've created because recovery is again, super important for staying alive. Having 10 recovery will heal you quicker and you get your rift back quicker as well. Along with a void sidearm, I'm also running a void grenade launcher. Now, I'm trying to get the grenade launcher, I will show you. This one right here, crowd pleaser. I want to get this grenade launcher with the perk chain reaction, which is basically like dragonfly and a grenade launcher. But unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to be able to get that grenade launcher roll I want before the raid. So I'm gonna use this Berendra's memory from last season. Um, it's got quick draw and auto loading holster as well as spike grenades. So, you know, if I'm in a pinch, just whip out the grenade launcher with quick draw, fire a couple of shots into a major and then store it away and it will reload itself. So it's great for just quickly swapping to it, melting a major and then swapping back to your primary or your special. And because it's void, any kills I get with it are again going to increase my abilities recharge rate. Um, hopefully getting me my super, my grenade, and my rift back faster. The reason I'm using the 7th Seraph sidearm and not something like the Gnawing Hunger is because it's a Seraph weapon. So if I pair that with this helmet I have, the this mod I have on my helmet here, Warmind's Longevity, Warmind cells I create last longer, just like my Phoenix Protocol builds, those Warmind cells I spawn are going to stay on the ground longer. And when you pair that with Global Reach, they're going to affect enemies at greater distances and when you pair that with Warmind's protection when I'm near any of my Warmind cells I take reduced damage and like I said in my Phoenix Protocol video my teammates my clan mates can also run this mod they don't even need to spawn their own Warmind cells but when I generate a Warmind cell if they have this mod on their armor they will also take reduced damage 
and that is huge because now not everyone on my team has to have weapons that can spawn war mine cells as long as i create weapons or as long as i create war mine cells that last for longer and affect targets at greater distances they're golden i'm also running a charge with light build so again taking charge just because it's so easy to proc picking up orbs from all those supers and masterwork to kills and then i'm using surprise attack now this mod is not the best charge with light mod but because i'm using a sidearm because the void the void sidearm is the only um, void serif weapon i decided i might as well so this mod says well charged with light reloading or writing a sidearm will consume all stacks of light all stacks of charged with light and convert them into stacks of major damage buff which are depleted as you damage combatants with that sidearm now this is a times two damage buff I said earlier these builds aren't meant to be gimmicky and this is the point exactly this perk is going to be proccing as i just play the game you know i'm going to be reloading my sidearm or i'm going to be switching from wither horde to my sidearm and anytime i'm using my sidearm as long as i was charged with light i'm going to be getting this perk to proc so i'm just going to be getting a damage buff over time as long as i'm picking up orbs of light nothing gimmicky just straight to the point and very easy to do as for perks on my armor I'm running Grenade Launcher Ammo Finder because I'm going to be using Wither Horde. So one of the interesting things about Wither Horde that I actually really haven't mentioned yet is if I fire a Wither Horde shot and switch back to my Seraph weapon, the Warmind, any kills with my Ser uh, with the Wither Horde, because my sidearm is out, count as Seraph weapon kills and they have a chance to spawn a Warmind cell. So that's super important. So I'm going to be using Wither Horde a lot because it is getting undisabled or it's getting enabled, I guess you could say. Um, according to DMG. So that's that. So grenade launcher ammo finder. Sidearm ammo finder again. Because just like my last video where I used the Iclos SMG. This is a lightweight sidearm. Which means it has low reserves. So I'm going to be able. I'm going to want some extra primary ammo. On my arms I got enhanced grenade launcher loader. Or it's really just grenade launcher loader. To get my wither horde to reload faster. Sidearm loader, because I'm using a sidearm as my primary. Might as well get that reloaded quicker. On my chest, double grenade launcher reserves. Um, I can also switch these for a sidearm reserves, or if I need reserves like machine gun reserves, easily switch those out. Double grenade launcher scavenger, so I get plenty of wither horde ammo. Again, I can switch this to like a sidearm scavenger or sword scavenger, whatever I'm running. Uh, and that's basically it. Just like my Phoenix Protocol video, I'm going to hover over all my weapons and rolls that I plan on taking into the raid if you're interested in that. Um, with this build, I'm primarily going to be using the Wither Horde, the Seventh Seraph Sidearm, um, the Berenger's Memory. I may, I may, there's a chance, switch to a uh, Falling Guillotine if that's okay, if that works, because it is another Void weapon to pair with Nazarek Sin. But most likely, Berenger's Memory will be enough. I'm going to be releasing my next video, which is a Dawn Chorus build, similar to the one Arrow showed. If you haven't watched his video, I highly recommend it. Arrow is a great guy, and he makes a ton of great build videos. A lot of my builds are actually inspired by him. So that video is going to be going up tomorrow, which should be Friday. Because uh, I'm, I'm recording this video on Wednesday, but I'm going to upload it on Thursday. So the Dawn Chorus one should come out on Friday. And then Saturday morning before the raid, my last video should be going live it's nothing no, nothing special in that build i would say my first three builds are the better ones but that one will go live so if you're interested in all those make sure to like and subscribe and i i'll see you guys tomorrow